Hi kids! Today we are going to make these awesome rainbow coffee filters. You should have gotten one in your kit. You can just use any coffee filter. And we're going to be working with color. We're going to be learning about primary and secondary colors and the color wheel. So let's get started. At any time during this video, if it's, I'm either going too fast or if there's something you don't understand, make sure that you pause. And sometimes I'll put a sign out and it looks like this and it will have you um, stop the video so you can catch up. Right now, these are the materials you're gonna need for this project. You need a coffee filter or two because you might wanna do this more than once. You need an aluminum piece of aluminum foil or tin foil. You can also use wax paper. Uh, something that w the water won't go through. You need a water bottle for spraying. You need six markers, your primary colors and secondary colors, and a pencil. And right now would be a good time to pause and go get your materials ready before we start again. So this is what you need, so pause and, and go get your materials. Now I'm going to be doing two different coffee filter art pieces. You can do one of them, or you can do both, or you can try it a couple different times, because each time you do it, it's, it turns out a little bit differently. We are going to start with this one first, which if you look at this, this is the color wheel, starting with the yellow on the top, and then orange, red, purple, blue, green, and that is the color wheel. So let's take a look at the color wheel. Okay, first let's start with our primary colors. Yellow, blue, and red. Okay. Then yellow and red, when you mix them together, make orange. So we put orange between the two of them. And then blue, and red make purple. So we put purple between the two of them. And then blue and yellow make green. And that is why the color wheel is set up like this. And it goes in order. When we go around the color wheel, we blend colors. So these two would blend, these two would blend, these two. But across the color wheel, we get brown. And if you look, <coughs> on my one of my first pieces and that's okay it still looks okay but some of the colors blended all together um, but that's why you get little bits of brown because the colors that are across from each other blended but this still turned out cool so we're gonna we're gonna do this so if you start with your pencil we're gonna make a color wheel and the first thing we need to do is cut it in half now guys, use your light pencil. Don't press real hard. See how nice and light I pressed on that? So to cut it in half. If you're having trouble um, cutting it in half, you might want to fold it first and then open it up and that'll be in half. Okay, then we're going to make an X. So we're gonna make one, two. So we make, start with the straight one, and then one, two, and that'll give us six different areas. You have to have six, you can't have eight. Eight is not a color wheel, it has to be six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, if you need to rewind that to see how to do that, go ahead. And then we basically just fill in by coloring. We're gonna start with yellow. We're going to fill in by, um, we're going to start by coloring each of the sections. So here is yellow at the top. I'm going to do my primary colors first. Then, or, you know what? We're not going to do primary colors first. We're going to go right around so we don't skip anything. Then orange. Orange is next. And notice I'm not being real careful about coloring everything in. You don't have to because you're going to be getting it wet and it's going to blend. 
red's next and if I look at this my red is a little big so I'm just making it a little bit smaller remember the pencil is just a guideline and after red is purple and after purple is blue After blue is green. Okay, now you can pause here so that you get caught up and pause it, or you can go ahead and get ready for the next part, which is we're going to spray it. Okay, so I'm going to move this to the center. I'm not going to move it though, then I'm going to take my water bottle and spray it. Now guys, you don't need to get it super wet. If you get it super wet, so I mean the water's all over the place, what's going to happen is um, everything is going to just mix with other stuff and you're going to get more browns. I'm just pushing down the bubbles. I have bubbles in mine. If you want to push the bubbles down, that's fine, but have a tissue close so you can wipe your finger off because you're going to get marker on it. There we go. And it's blending already, so I am going to set that aside and let that dry, and then we're going to do the next one. If you would like to do the next one, get ready with the same materials, another piece of aluminum foil, and a new coffee filter. All right, so the next one we're going to do is we're going to do the rainbow colors in a circular pattern. And so find the center, you can use it with your finger, get your purple, we're gonna start with purple in the middle. So we're actually starting at the bottom of the color wheel this time. And then we're gonna color that in. Again, you don't have to color in completely. Yeah, I know, you can actually be kind of messy on this. Okay, then we're going to go around that with blue. Go around a couple times and then switch over what's next after. So we have purple, blue, what's next? Green. Okay, after green, what's next? Yellow. And with yellow, I like to do, since yellow is the lightest of all the colors on the rainbow, I like to do a little bit of extra yellow so it doesn't get overpowered by the green or the orange or some of the other colors. Now let's do orange. We're getting more because it's getting the circles getting bigger. So we're having to color a little bit more. And then the final color after yellow, orange, red. And again, you don't have to be too careful about the coloring because we're gonna just blend it all. Okay, there it is. The last step then is get your water, water bottle. Make sure there's nothing around that can get wet and you're going to spray it. Remember, don't get it too wet so that all the colors blend together. And then the next morning or the, in a little bit, You'll double check it and the colors will have blended together. And these look really cool in the window. So make sure that you display your art. And if you don't like it, try it again because each rainbow art piece is different. Um, last thing, you can also cut this in half when you're done and have two rainbow halves. All right. We'll see you next time and have fun and don't forget to share them with me.